peace peace family so i'm back with another one today what i wanted to do is i wanted to talk to my chosen ones about learning the seasons and the reasons why certain beings and entities are in your life you know what i'm saying because for a lot of us we're in the western world connected all around the world so even if you're not in the states most likely you're in a city somewhere that's set up like the western world that's set over here too as well you know what i'm saying so learning the seasons and the reasons why beings are in your life because you're not going to be able to avoid everyone you're not going to be able to avoid every place and location everything you know what i'm saying so the easiest way to flow like water and to flow with water is to go with the flow sometimes and understand why some of these beings have come into your life you know what i'm saying what's the season that you're in currently these are all things that you should think about. You don't have to, but it will help you along in your journey when you're trying to process why do you keep running into the same beings or why does you why do you run into certain beings around certain times of the year? You know, just just different things because we all should know psychology. I feel like if we're going to use the western language in their terminology we should all know psychology, you know, human behavior. We should all know human behavior. You know, that's something that it shouldn't be studied. We should just be aware because we deal with us every day. So you don't really have to study you and the beings like you. You just have to be aware. You know what I'm saying? So learning the reasons for why these beings are in your life. You know what I'm saying? Because some of the beings are going to be sent to you to distract you and then some are going to be sent with evil ill intentions and then some are going to be light workers that you may just kind of brush off to the side because you was unsure because maybe things were too honest too sincere too upfront you know just it just seemed too unreal you know so for me coming up with this subject today and just kind of diving in looking at the trees and everything and just going through my own experiences in life it's like we're going into the winter season you know it's a huge shift happening whether you want it to happen or not the energy is shifting out here so each week or each day or you could say each season you have a quarterly an annually a weekly or a daily checkup where you're constantly like just kind of reflecting on yourself what you've been doing what's going on and then the beings that surround you in your life currently you know and their reasons and their purposes for being in your life and some of us have beings in our life that we don't really know why they are fully there on a percentage scale it's under 50 percent i would say it's about 20 to 15 percent you know and for me when i was in those spaces and when i have those kind of entities and beings around me i have to process it into sections sections is easier it's just really easier okay where you get your information from how you lead you know your intentions i, I put you over here all right you're with the creator the, the, the good the nature the natural flow of things all right and you have the, the witchy motherfuckers that's going to go over here with the demonic shit you know what i'm saying but you have the witches and the warlords who are beings who potentially know what they are doing and they choose to be over there and then you have the other beings who are the sheep you know they was in the middle and then all the witches and warlords were like hey come over here so they all just went over there because the majority was going over there so you have those beings the beings in the middle are the ones where you will get a lot of friction at like the ones that's already signed up you already know, you know, because once you hit, get hit, you get hit, you know what I'm saying? You're going to feel it. It's not going to be uh, like a love tap or something like that. Like, they hit, they hit hard. But the beings in the middle, learning the reasons, you know, and knowing what season you're in will help you process what this being is doing in your life, what kind of energy they're bringing to you, what kind of energy you're pulling from them. Because it's always an energy exchange. So dealing with the ones in the middle right and it depends on if you're just dealing with them on just a a casual level 
casual level or if you're dealing with them on a level where you're actually you're wanting to build and grow or they're in your space as if they want to build and grow and maybe they do but they're just building according to the matrix and not really according to the structure that you would like to align with you know what i'm saying when i have these kind of beings that's in the middle that's not really doing shit with ill intentions they just kind of being These ones are the ones that most likely, for me, they help me process how I communicate outwardly with beings who are not trying to go anywhere in their life. You know what I mean? It's They've hit their line. You know, they got the job, the house, the car, the, the kids. You know, they probably already got the land space or I, I don't know they probably got whatever it is the western thing has lined up they're on that that flat line you know what i'm saying that's what they're doing it's a steady flow and that's it you know it's we're looking forward to each holiday from here there there and you know the basics dealing with these beings you have to understand and what i do is i practice how i communicate outwardly when i'm trying to um share some information with them because they are going to be the ones who are going to be really not receptive to it you know because no they're not doing shit with ill intentions but their playbook is from over here they're not taking their information and shit from over this way they're just moving and doing shit with not ill intentions but they're using the wrong playbook so they are hurting other people in the process they just don't comprehended in here and in here you know what i'm saying so but for me i'm always aware of these things but i, I realize like when you talk to the, the witches and warlords it's kind of easy because you know it's a <clears throat> it's about to be a battle in between there you know what i'm saying you got your guard up you got your weapons out you you kind of know what the process over there but when you're dealing with the sheep you it, it kind of almost look at a, a good example of that would be it's like like a school bully situation you know what i'm saying like even though you're not a bully the bully is usually seen as bigger and then the one they're bullying is usually smaller you know what i'm saying so look at it that way energetically but not with the ill intentions of the bully you know what i'm saying just the bigger spirit and then the little one and then you're trying to figure out how to communicate this information up here so this one can get pulled up here but this one is resisting so once you start getting to these these spaces where you know you want to help as many people as you can and you know you only can help the ones who want to be helped right but you can always force seeds and plant seeds you know what i'm saying now whether them seeds grow or not is on them but you can still force and throw them seeds in there it's no different than what the what the opposition does with commercials you know you just have to use you as a live commercial so that's what i do when i'm in these when these places where it's like all right it's seasonal time i'm getting, seeing all these different beings you know or, or a couple of different beings what is the reasoning so start dropping seeds so outside of planting the seeds you know what i'm saying it's not up to you to to grow those seeds it's just your job to plant them it's my job to plant them you know once we do that part then for us we can just go back and reprocess. All right, boom, I planted these seeds over here. This being was a little bit difficult to kind of, you know, get them kind of see things away from the matrix standpoint, but I was able to communicate with them differently to where I was able to process my energy a lot better while giving them information. I was able to use different words this time when communicating with this being than I did with the being that I communicated with last. You know what I'm saying? So. Your words are powerful, you know what I'm saying? Words are spells and spells are real. And we already understand that our spiritual realm is what leads. So when we're projecting, we're putting more power and energy into it, you know what I'm saying? So just just knowing the seasons and the reasons why beings are in your life, you know what I'm saying? Even if you get a witchy witch motherfucker, sometimes you just have a lot of self-reflecting to do and some weak links in your own spiritual space that you have to work on. 
And when these beings come around, sometimes they are going to open your eyes so wide that you are going to be forced to do something. And if you're not forced to do something, nine times out of ten, they're going to crash you out. But most of us are here because we did something when we did engage and interact with those ones on that level. You know what I'm saying? So, and then you learned a lot about yourself after that. And you figured out new tactics. You figured out new strategies. You got some new tools, weapons, shields, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said those ones are easy. When we run into those ones, boom, we already know what time it is. It's like you just walking down the street, somebody hit you, boom. Now all of a sudden, you just fight. You don't even know them from Adam and Eve, but somebody didn't hit you, and now you have to handle the situation. You know what I'm saying? That's understandable. It's the ones who come sit down with you in the cafe. You know what I'm saying? It's the ones who pull up on you in your space. You know what I'm saying? Those are the ones where we have to learn how to engage and communicate with them differently outward because even though they're not even though they're not doing it with ill intentions you know their playbook and where they're pulling information from is still over this way we want to pull information from the creator and from the natural flow of things you know what i'm saying and you start from there however you want to twist it for your culture you know for a better reflection cool you know what i'm saying because it's no different than Muslim, Christianity, Buddhism, you know what I'm saying? You're going to find a lot of light beings that's, that's involved with some of those all around the world. And it's different perspectives, but it all leads to one. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I be meaning. Like, of course, we can all have different perspectives, but you have to understand where they're pulling their information from. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't want to run it up too long, you know what I'm saying? Learn the seasons and figure out the reasons why you have certain beings and entities in your life, you know what I'm saying? Tapping everything down below. Peace and love to the kings and queens.